since this is a confirmatory maneuver for L1, we either write cephalic or breach. So this is another example of GP requirements. The next we have computation. So when we compute for the EDC the, or the EDB, so we use Nagel's rule. So this is a standard way of calculating a due date for pregnancy using the standard computation of minus 3 plus 7 plus 1. So when computing for the EDC using Nagel's rule, we need LMP, the last menstrual period, and we also need to use the standard computation. So we have here an example. The LMP basing on month, date, and year format is July 7, 2019. So we use it with our standard computation. So we have here minus 3 for months, plus 7 for days, and plus 1 for year. So if we solve this, 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. And 2019 plus 1 is equal to 2020. And that is our ADC or ADD. So 4 is April. So we have April 14, 2020. And that is the estimated date of delivery or estimated date of confinement using Nagel's rule. And next, we compute for AOG using McDonald's rule. So this is used to measure the size of the uterus, and it is also used to assess fetal growth and development during pregnancy. So there are two formulas, either we use the AOG in months or AOG in the weeks. So when using AOG in months, then that is equal to fundal height in centimeters times 2, then divided by 7. Well, for weeks, it is equal to fundal height in centimeters multiplied by 8 and divided by 7. So we have here an example. So, for example, AOG in months. So we have 32 centimeters. So the fundal height is multiplied by 2 which is equal to 64, and divided by 7. So the answer is 9.1. So then our age, AOG, our age of gestation, becomes 9 months and 1 over 7 days. Well, if we compute an AOG in weeks, then it becomes 32 centimeters times 8, which is 256. Then we divide it with 7. It becomes... 36.4. So our AOG becomes 36 weeks and 4 over 7 days. Lastly, we have to compute for the AOG using the long method. So we need to have the LMP and the last date of visit. So in our example, our last menstrual period is January 16, 2016. Well, for our last date of visit, it is July 9, 2016. So the first step for us to compute for the AOG using the long method is to subtract the LMP from the number of days January has. So for January, it has 31 days in total. So 31 minus 16 is equal to 15. So after obtaining the remaining days of January, we will then proceed with step two, which is to make a list basing on the last menstrual period and the last date of visit. So we need to list down all the months and days that is within January 15th and July 9th, so similar to this. So after making a list of all the months and days within January 15th and July 9th, we will then add all the days together. So January 15, February 29, March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30, July 9. So all of these combined together will make up 175 days. And then we'll proceed with 
step three. So in step three, we will divide our sum by the number of days in a week. So the total number of days in a week is seven. So 175 divided by seven is equal to 25. And lastly, we have step four, which is to divide our new answer to the number of weeks in a month. So total number of weeks in a month is four. So 25 divided by four is equal to six with a remainder of one. So in conclusion, our age of gestation or AOG is six months and one over four weeks. So that ends my discussion regarding CLO number nine. This has been group one. Thank and you and God bless. God bless.